Yo, what's up everyone, welcome back. This video, we're gonna be going on hands-on with lists. So let's talk about them and start working with them. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. All right, so making a list is super easy. All you gotta do is say list and then use the less than greater than sign. Here we're going to put a type such as int, give it a name and then say new list int parentheses semicolon. Now hover over this and what you need to do is say show potential fixes using system.collections.generic and that'll bring that up top here. So when you add an element, it's automatically going to go at the beginning. So what we can do is we can add another element. Let's add a 10 this time. So five is gonna be at index zero, 10 is gonna be at index one. And let's just see that. We'll do console.writeline. We'll pass in grades index zero. Dot net run, see what we get. And you can see we get a five, yeah. All right, so the first thing you might notice is that we access the indexes the same way that you would with an array, so that's nice. Now you can go and add all your elements in like this, but I'm gonna teach you guys a shorthand way of doing this. So let's get rid of these and use curly braces. And we'll just put five, 10, very simple. Now it is important to keep this here because you see if we get rid of this, we're gonna get a compiling error and look at what it's gonna say. It says you can only use array initializer expressions when you're assigning to array types. So this initialization here is not valid for lists. We gotta make sure we have the new list with the integer type, the parentheses, and then the curly braces. Yes, it's very verbose. If you're looking to save a little bit of effort, you can use a var over here and that should work just the same. In the next video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys some common methods you might wanna use with lists. And yeah, it should be pretty cool. So go check it out and subscribe.